there are four throttle position cut off this is idle here then full military power and full afterburner when you start the engine you do not need to depress the lever you just lift the handle a little bit more and you can right away go to idle there is another notch which is the afterburner notch that's it here so when the throttle is full military power to go into afterburner you do not need the lever you just lift a little bit the throttle and you go into the afterburner range and then when you want to go back to military power just slide it back the throttle will go past the notch and that's again full military power and if you want to shut down the engine then now you will have to use that lever here because you need to depress the lever so that you can lift the handle go past the notch to the cutoff so this is an engine start we are about to start the GFS now, canopy is closed GFS is starting the throttle is in cutoff position and we'll wait for the um, RPM to increase RPM is increasing. It will stop at the green nut, the first green notch. That's the GFS operation. Once at the green notch, we will move the throttle to idle and that will start the engine. So, we do not touch the lever, we just lift a little bit the throttle to idle. RPM is increasing past 25%. If we if the GFS off, sixty percent. Here is idle, 70%. And now if you want to stop the engine, we cannot, we cannot lift past the idle button, so we have to depress the lever here so we can lift the throttle past the detents move it to cut off and the uh, needle will decrease back to 50% 40% and the engine is down 